Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I think the first laptop computer I ever saw wasn't much of a laptop computer. I certainly couldn't put it on my lap. I was a kid at the time, and that thing was uh, gigantic. Uh, you don't really call them laptops anymore. They're more notebook computers because some laptops aren't laptops. They're desktop replacements, but they're still in this kind of form factor. Uh, first Mac to enter the house in at least a notebook format was the uh, MacBook, not mine, Ponzi's. It was a gift given to her. Uh, I kind of accepted it reluctantly, saying, ah, you don't want it. You don't want a Mac, blah, blah, blah. Now I realize I'm saying this sitting in front of a 17-inch MacBook Pro with my cartoon logo taped with electrical tape in front of it. Because, um, well, you know, I'm, I'm not an Apple fanboy, despite what you might think. I, I like the laptop. I think it's great. I think it's solid. I, I, I Okay, I love the laptop. I admit it. Uh, it's a great desktop replacement, but I don't mind carrying it around with me either. We have a member of our community, Omar Rabadi, uh, recently picked up a notebook computer and had some tips that uh, he learned as he went through the process, and he said he'd like to share them with the rest of the community at YouTube as well as live.perillo.com, which is where we're streaming this video experience live in the chatters down here below. Hey, chatters. <clears throat> Top five tips for buying a laptop. Number one, the build quality of the laptop is more important than you might think. Not only are poorly built laptops more likely to break down, but they're more likely to have overheating problems and therefore run slower. If your laptop is going to be leaving the house several times a week, build quality is more important than it is if you're not going to leave the house very often. Look closely at the laptops in stores and read reviews online from websites like you know, well, wherever you like to go to read up on reviews. More than just going to websites, I'm actually going to suggest that you ask your peers, whether it's your friends or the people in the chat room or the folks in YouTube subscribe to the same channel as you do, they're going to give you the skinny uh, about any kind of product and, and, and give it to you straight from the heart. You know it's going to be as unbiased as your friends can be. Number two, similar to build quality, look at the quality of the keyboard. This is especially important if you'll be doing a lot of typing. A poorly constructed keyboard will become very frustrating to type on. Oh, that is so true. Uh, you know, I, I've really been frustrated with a lot of laptop manufacturers, uh, you know, notebook computers, you know, specifically with a keyboard and the placement of the Windows key. If they even put it on there, uh, I'm used to it in a certain position. And when they put it off in left field or right field, as the case might be, just drives me up the wall. More importantly, how do the keys feel? Are they too squished together? Are they you know, spaced out evenly? I mean, these are all very important things to consider. Keyboard is a big one. If your keyboard isn't good, um, you're, you're not going to like using that computer. Three, mobility versus screen size. If the laptop is rarely going to leave the house, uh, you know, like when you're going on vacation, then you're going to be better off with a laptop with a 15 to 17 inch screen probably going to be more appropriate. However, if you're going to be taking the laptop to school or a cafe on a regular basis, you probably want something more mobile in the 12 to 24, well, I'm sorry, 12 to 14 inch range. Although you should look at the actual weight of the machine, not just the screen size and beyond screen size, screen resolution. When it came time for us to pick up the Macs, the MacBook Pros for Gnome Dex, our conference, um, it was a debate between the 15 inch with the LED backlit screen, or the 17 inch with the much higher resolution and slightly dated screen technology. Uh, I went for resolution and I have not regretted it one single bit. I, oh, this is like what, 19, hang on, I always forget. Give me a second, hold on to option, system profiler. I'll give you the exact resolution in just a second. I think it's like 19, yeah, 1920 by 1200 screen resolution on this 17 inch MacBook Pro. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it so much. Anything less than that is simply uncivilized. I mean, you can't go from one of these 30 inch or two of these 30 inch babies to something even this small is frustrating. Like, where'd my pixels go? I want my pixels back. <clears throat> but it's important to keep in mind, not just the screen size, but the screen resolution itself. I mean, if I had a 30 inch monitor, but it was only capable of handling 1024 by 768, WTF, dude! So watch the screen resolution as you do screen size, you know, actual measurements. 
Uh, and, and by the way, just to clarify for those who may not understand the difference, the resolution is the number of pixels by the number of pixels, whereas screen size is typically measured diagonally. Like this is 17 inch from this corner down to this corner. And the amount of pixels on the screen are 1920 by 1200, this particular screen. So the more pixels, the better the resolution, the more stuff you can have on the screen at the same time. Uh, typically, the sharper things are going to be on that screen. Okay, number four. Specifications. I'd recommend everyone stay away from single core processors these days. You might think you don't need more than a single core if you're only doing basic tasks and surfing the web, but you might be surprised at how draining, se how draining seemingly simple tasks can be when you have several programs open at the same time. Furthermore, budget laptops are only slightly more expensive than the uh, single core laptops that are less expensive. So even if it is uh, just a basic dual core, something with two processors or two cores, uh, it's not going to be that much more than a single core system. Spend the extra money on that extra processor. Tr trust, that's my recommendation too, by the way. Uh, I've read a lot of conflicting information on the hierarchy of processors. Um, it's okay, I think ultimately it boils down to benchmarks and real world applications. Uh, you know, what you're using it for, what programs you have running all the time, what programs you don't have running all the time. If your operating system can handle it, um, Windows probably can't. Uh, see here. Keep in mind that even though um, some of these processors, there's small differences, they can actually be a substantial difference in performance between the laptops. So even if you're looking at two computers and you're saying, well, they're essentially the same, but that one's $50 cheaper, I'll just go with a cheaper laptop. Dude, if you have the $50 to spend, I've said this from day one, when it comes to a computer, it doesn't matter specifically which one you get. You know, watch for specials, watch for deals, watch for coupons, do search on my blog at chris.perillo.com, I might have coupons for you. But don't scrimp and save when it comes to hardware, okay, okay? Tagjag.com is another good place, thank you, the username, Google. This is important. If you have the $50 to spend, spend it on the hardware. Don't worry too much about memory right now as it can be cheaply upgraded. That's true. And uh, just make sure the laptop is upgradable. If you play video games and or do video photo editing, I've got a laptop with an integrated video card since I don't do any of those activities. Don't really know much about video cards. Maybe Chris can speak more to that. I think video card is important, uh, especially if you're a gamer, then you're probably looking for a desktop replacement notebook. And this would probably be considered a desktop replacement. It's not super, super lightweight, but it's fast, um, as fast as I need it. And as far as the memory upgrade is concerned, um, I, okay, I am going to say something really, even though I have an affiliate program with Apple, um, you, you got to understand, uh, you're crazy if you buy your memory through Apple. If, you might buy your system through Apple.com and that's fine, but don't buy your memory for your Apple machine or your Mac through Apple.com. You're, you're nuts. And just to show you the, the discrepancies, uh, you can buy, okay. For instance, in one configuration right now on Apple.com, you can buy 32 gigabytes of RAM. That adds on $9,000 versus buying the exact same RAM, exact same manufacturer, exact, uh, everything exactly the same on another website for $3,000. That's a $6,000 difference. $6,000 markup for the same thing okay i can't argue that so for people who say apple's expensive in that case they're nuts to think anybody's going to do that and you're nuts to do that sorry apple until you you know bring it down to the realm of reality that's just my recommendation any old way so see i'm not a total fanboy. had to say that uh, features. Does a laptop have a built-in memory card reader for your type of digital camera? Does it have a built-in webcam, a built-in microphone, USB ports aplenty? How loud do the speakers get? One of the most important features I was looking for was battery life. Does the computer come with a 4-cell, 6-cell, 9-cell, 12-cell battery? Does it come with a 4- or 6-cell battery? Can you buy a better battery at a reasonable price? Very good things to consider. Uh, and, and usually, and I, I haven't done this with this particular Mac, but usually I buy a second battery for just about anything uh, that I, a uh, consumer electronic device that I plan on using on the road a lot. Uh, laptop, I, I, I really haven't, I, I, for some reason, I don't know, I don't know why I haven't gotten one. I guess I've never really had an issue with the battery life on the MacBook, despite this being a beast. Uh, I've, I've ne it's never been, you know, that much of a, of an issue for me. 
um, you may have had different experiences, but uh, certainly the, these are all important questions to ask. You know, if you listen to a lot of, of, of music, um, how good are the speakers on board if you don't listen through headphones? Um, you know, USB ports, does it have all the ports you need or want? Um, microphones and webcams, most of them come with microphones these days. Uh, webcams, not always. Webcam, I would say, is a value add. Uh, although you might want to consider this too with the webcams that it comes with. Some of them allow you to swivel the webcam uh, this way or that way, and that's very nice. That's very that's a good feature to watch, watch for if that's that because that's kind of I I thought it was kind of weird at first. I'm like, oh, that's great, great little feature. And uh, that's uh, that's about all he's got. He says looks for good deals. Uh, stay the smart shopper. You can pay hundreds less. Uh, and as I mentioned before, I've got coupons on my blog at chris.perillo.com. And uh, if you go to tagjag.com, it's another site I set up that's got deals on eBay, uh, shop.com, on uh, where else do we have listed? Uh, a few other places, actually. Uh, Amazon. Uh, we've got a, a coupons database that goes to uh, a lot of other websites. Um, so even, oh, Newegg. We also list Newegg stuff there, too. Uh, so it's quite geeky, I would say. Um, not just for, I mean, but it's for everything. It's searching for everything, but I'm saying that I cater to geeks because that's kind of my audience. I mean, right now I've got 300 people watching me uh, do this video online, giving a laptop purchasing recommendations uh, for everybody. Um, I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say much more about this right now because I'm just trying to keep this as general as, as humanly possible. Uh, no, not Newegg.com. Don't go. You can go there, but if you go to TagJag.com, I've got better prices and coupons. Just kind of the, the way it works. Tagjag.com. I, I, I've got a new aid category. You can subscribe to the RSS feed to watch for products and everything. Anyway, so uh, yeah, enough uh, enough shameless self promotion there. Well, it's a video with me in it. I mean, how much more shameless can you get? I'm shameless. I'm a little ashamed at being so shameless. So uh, any old way, uh, if you've got any other top five tips, uh, you know, purchasing advice for buying anything, well, we've obviously now just covered buying a laptop, but maybe you've got ideas for buying something else, uh, whether it's related to technology or not. Maybe it's uh, buying a car, some tips for buying a car, uh, tips for buying uh, stocks of bamboo. Uh, maybe you've got tips for... Um, Scissors. I, I'm just saying. I'm throwing it out there. I'll, I'll read any kind of top five tips because I think it's useful to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Restart. Restart? Why do I have to restart? Uh, if Uncle John says, Uncle John said I got to restart? Oh, someone cussed. Oh, uh, well. Not really. Okay. What do you want me to do? Not really? All right, we'll keep going. See, this is how it goes. I'm, I'm just saying, I realize the people watching this video just to get laptop advice is probably already tuned out. But what I try to do with the chat room is I try to keep it open so people can participate. It doesn't always happen. And then if someone comes along and says something weird, then we usually have to moderate the chat room and only voiced users can talk. Uh, so that's OK. And the person who just talk, uh, came in there says that it's fine. So I'm just going to close this video now. And uh, hopefully you can join us in the chat room too. Um, you know, we're, we're nice people. We try to try to keep things family friendly. Good advice, sharing advice, sharing tips and tricks. Yes, it's good to say hi to YouTube because that's where most of our audience is. That's for darn sure. Um, just drinking my coffee here as I wind this uh, video down. Um, yeah, let's see. Where, what, what else do I have to? Oh yeah, I gotta tell them where to go. I mean, in, uh, in a good way. Tell you where to where to come to chat with us. Um, you know, even if I'm not in front of this computer doing things, or if I'm here and I'm not paying attention to the chat room, there are tons of people paying attention to the chat room. Tons. And when I say, t I mean literally hundreds of people, and it grows by the month. Uh, you know, the it just the numbers just keep climbing and climbing and climbing. So uh, anyway. Uh, you're welcome to swing by the chat room, and, and I think people have already been typing in the URL where you can go, and that is four ones. You're not going to tell them where to go. You you said that it was fine for me. Oh. To, yeah, go ahead, tell them. <laughs> you can uh, reach us twenty four seven. We're typically talking tech or any other subject that might be off the top of our head at one address and one address only, and that address is live. Dot Perillo. Dot com. See you later. <laughs>